Okay, in this video, I want to go over uh, number 1A. So I'm looking at the second box, and I want to, um, I've already typed this into the Sage worksheet, and I want to show how uh, one way to get the plot over to your uh, LaTeX lab write-up. So I have this written already in my Sage worksheet right here. So if I click on Run, I should uh, get this picture right here of, 2 cosine of x, and uh, looking at here the start LaTeX file we set up in the last video, I want to add that, let's see this is number 1, so right here this is where we're going to discuss problem number 1, so I'll type something following graph shows uh, all right, f of x equals 2 cosine of x. And we're going to surround your mathematics in a dollar sign. I'll click on preview so this builds, and that should change what we have in the reader right here. There we go. All right, so what I want to do is look down here on the LaTeX typing. Again, if you, if you start a line with a percent sign, Notice that's a different color. This is not being compiled. You won't see anything in the final document if you start with a percent sign. So this is a good way to give yourself comments. And I've started down here the begin center and end center environment. That just centers everything inside. And here I'm actually going to delete this dollar sign. And here's the command backslash include graphics. There's many options you can include with graphics. And then you got to put a figure title. So if I click preview here, it should give me a warning because I don't it doesn't read what this figure title is right here. So I'm gonna go back to the Sage worksheet. And again, there's more than one way to do this. You could um, take a snippet or a picture of this. I'm gonna stay inside the Sage Math Cloud. I'm gonna type p dot save parentheses. And then I'm going to call this a plot1.png, surrounded by uh, exclamation points, oh, excuse me, uh, parentheses. And I'm going to run this. And uh, there won't be anything different over here. Notice I call this plot1. If I go over to files in the uh, workbook, now there's a plot1. If I click on that. There we go. I generated a PNG, just the format of how this was created. So I don't need this. I'm going to click that out. I'm going to go back to the LaTeX file and just change this to plot1.png. Click on the preview. So the Sage Math Cloud builds it. Ooh, and I have a typo right here. Include. I need an E. Include graphics. So there's errors all the time in LaTeX. And here we go. We've got our figure imported. Notice it's pretty big. It's falling off the page. So I included the option for scale. I could change that. Now it's scaling at 100%. So if I wanted to make that half the size, I could do 0.5. Click on the preview again. And there we go.